Okay, these are my crippled anchovy um, pro troll rigs. They're, I only use them for pro trolls, Dodgers. Um, and it's just a medium, small anchovy goes on there. So my favorite's like a five to five and a quarter inch anchovy, um, which you have to pick through if you're getting your uh, anchovies from from the market, from the daily bait down in Astoria, or you can order um, the frozen and get uh, get them in the five to five and a quarter sizes. But um, here's how they need to be made. Um, overall length is um, of the of just mono. So from this corner here, or I mean from right here to right here, that. You want to have it in the 26 to 28 inch zone, okay? So that means the maximum length, because there's a bead, there's a four bead chain swivel here. Um, maximum length from tip to tip would be 35 inches, okay? So uh, if you're in the 26, you're probably going to be around 33. If you're in the 27, you'll be around 34. If it's a 28 inches of mono, um, then you'll be at 35. So as long as your rigs aren't longer than 35, you're doing good. Um, here's how we um, we build them. You use a four bead chain swivel. And, um, and then, like I said, 26 to 28 inches of mono from, from the knot. And this, you're gonna use a double um, improved, uh, improved cinch knot, and you're going to want to have a, um, tag, leave a tag that's about a quarter inch long. I'd rather trim it if it's, if I think they're too long and, uh, then have it short because part of the process when you're done doing your hooks or doing your knots is, is stress testing them and getting those, um, knots tightened down. So they lay tight um, and then it's going to pull on your knots. So after you've um, pulled on your knots, you want to have a tag left over of about a quarter inch. Um, that's perfect because that it, that's a quarter inch right there. So I think it's, um, it, let's say you started it at a half inch when you cinch it down, it might, it'll, it'll probably go to a quarter inch. So it depends on on how um, you t how well you tie tie your knots, um, and how much stress testing you're doing. But I'd rather them be long tags than short tags because a short tag can pull out on a heavy fish or a snag and will lose lose all the gear if it's a if it pulled out on a snag. So here's one that's it's all done. It's just a improved cinch knot with a tag. Here's how the perfect length on a tag. That's after being uh, being stress tested, and then 26, 28 inches of it's all forty pound mono, um, and then this just rigs up right through that hole. That's where we put the um, toothpick, or if I might start putting um, bobber stops too. But now we're just gonna do a toothpick. That's where I stick the toothpick. And break it off and that keeps a tension tension on her on it and that just runs through that hole then that hole so you're running it through with total of the three holes and then leave all these pins in here that's what goes through the head of the anchovy and holds it down and then that the reason we use a toothpick or a bobber stop right here is when I stick it in here put the fish in I can grab this hook and put it through the body and then cinch this down tight on it and that makes the it puts a permanent curve in it if it's this is loose then it won't curve it'll always run straight you won't always have a nice little u-shaped curve so um i already went over the first knot improved cinch with a quarter inch tag 26 to 28 eight inches of mono from here to the knot and then um, there's two, you'll, you'll be doing two, um, uh, three-aught owners, 
okay? And then, or um, some of them will be red hooks, some will be these black, and then um, the two knots are your standard egg loop knots. So you should be able to go like that. So egg loop, egg loop, and then make sure to trim the tag here, and then go and pinch the barbs on each of them so that when I pull them out and check them in the morning, I don't have to trim anything. I don't have to, I don't have to uh, put in, I don't have to uh, bend down any, any barbs. And the only thing I'm gonna do is maybe add a toothpick and put the bait on. Um, but that's about it. Um, as far, the other, um, actually the main thing is hook separation. So one and three quarters between the two hooks. So from right, that's two, for me, that's two fingers. This one's a perfect example. So over the top of that hook, or the bottom of that hook to the top of that hook is two fingers for me. And if you put it on, you measure it out, that's one and three quarters inches. So there should be one and three quarters from right here to right there. And then that's perfect. This this can wrap around and hook the fish and uh, get two hooks in that fish. And that's the perfect setup. I run um, clear, I do chartreuse, I do glow chartreuse, and I do red. Um, those are the only colors I do. Um, when you're wrapping them around your foam, make them color coordinated. Um, and so I can just grab a color out of the box. And then the other, other thing is some of these have trebles and you'll always put the treble on the top hook and it just goes around its side. So those red trebles will be, uh, be putting those on the top hook. This bottom hook always needs to be a lower drag and um, that's perfect. But that is everything. Um, let me know if you have any questions.